This is McCook's Mr. Biltz, an honor to have you here. This last week we saw the President of the United States kick out a news reporter that was being supposedly disrespectful. Disrespectful. He was told to sit down and shut up. And he wouldn't do it. He wouldn't do it. Now they're even talking about the company that works for the news agency is going to sue the White House because they kicked him out. I would point out, though, if you would give me a minute, that in your grade school life, if the teacher told you to sit down and shut up, that was a good advice, you'd better do it. And in high school, even better advice, if a teacher told you to shut up and sit down, unless you wanted kicked out of that class, you better do what that teacher said. You better show that teacher some respect and do what they say. How about taking the next step? A college. How many professors are going to put up with any static whatsoever? And if they tell you to sit down and shut up, or you're out of their class, that's without question. If you disrespect a college professor in his class. Absolutely. And to take the next step, say you're in a courtroom and a judge tells you to sit down and shut up and you keep talking. You know what's going to happen? You're going to be looking at, that's right, uh, court fines and a good chance of some jail time. You bet. They're not going to put up with you. Not in that courtroom. Not with judges. So if a teacher or even a professor has the right to be respected along with a judge demands the right to be respected, then what's the problem when the President of the United States, you bet the Commander-in-Chief, demands respect? A long time ago I learned, I learned that you don't salute the man, you salute that's right, you salute the rank. You salute the rank, not the man. Thank you for your time.